Nah, -uh, missed you more. Hey, CC here. <laughs> um, boy, it's been a while. I know. I feel that I should explain the reason for my not vlogging um, for a while. And the truth is, I was trying to find the proper words to explain without getting too personal or too emotional. So I'll just say this. For a few years now, my personal life has been somewhat challenging. And don't worry, it's not a health issue. The kids are fine. That's not the problem. But um, my little safe world um, crumbled down about three months ago. And a second time got royally squished a few weeks ago. All this to say, again, don't worry, um, I'll get through it, but um, it's taken a lot out of me, uh, both physically and especially emotionally, and that is why I haven't vlogged apart from my little trip to Donna's, uh, which was a godsend. Anyways, um, and I did not anticipate this change um, to come down so quickly, and uh, quite honestly, I thought I had at least a good two years to turn myself around, but... Um, Things turned out differently and it is what it is. So I've been concentrating on um, getting through my days and my work. Uh, I do have to earn a living. So um, <clears throat> after that, mm, I didn't really have a lot of energy to vlog or even to create for myself. So that's why you haven't been seeing a lot of me recently. Um, I do have a great support system. My kids are amazing. Um, I have awesome friends. And because of that, I'm a grateful and B, I know that I'll get through it and I'll be okay. Uh, things happen for a reason and you gotta find the reason behind it. Um, maybe it's just a message that's being sent to me to get stronger and get more assertive. And, and, and these logs, may re they really make me feel good. Uh, especially when I get the feedback from all of you. It's just an amazing thing and that is part of getting uh, more positive and you know getting um, getting back into the swing of things. So I will do my best <laughs> to be more consistent but I can't promise you anything. So the Hallmark moment is over. <laughs> it's done. <coughs> Excuse me. Hang on a minute. Okay. So Moving right along, I have a few shout outs. Uh, first, Steffi, mm, who is Little Red Wagon on YouTube, she says that she watches my vlog and she always has a cup of tea with me because I usually have my cup of tea. Today I have wine. So sorry, Steffi, but hi and here's to you. Next shout out is to Daphian. Daphian, I know that you've tagged me. Uh, for a visual artist tag, I think it's called, and I will get around to do it. Um, I will do it. I just haven't had a chance to do it or the energy to do it, but I will do it. It's on my list. I have a long list of things that I want to do when I get back on my feet. And the last thing is someone, uh, someone gifted me with a Jane Davenport workshop. Awesome. I know it's funny. Sometimes you mention something in a vlog and people will pick up and it just, came into my email box. I had this wonderful Jane Davenport um, workshop and I really like her work and um, so thank you and that person knows who she is. I'm not going to name her. It's, I've already thanked her personally but um, I just haven't had a chance or the energy to do the workshop um, but I will do it and when I do I will share my, um, my work with you guys. So thank you again. Okay so on to the giveaway. I was supposed to have it for my 2,000 subscriber and I have now reached my 2,513 subscribers, so hence the title. Um, and as I mentioned in previous vlogs, uh, I'm not going to send products this time around because of a budget issue, but I have made a canvas. and. I will give you a snippet. It's not done. It's not finished yet, but I will just give you a little preview of it. Maybe just the color scheme. There it was. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's not finished, but um, 
I love it. It's got a lot of texture and the colors make me happy and I hope that the person who receives it will be as happy as well. So here's how to enter the giveaway. Okay, so A, of course, you have to be a subscriber to this channel. B, you need to add a comment below answering the following question. What is your favorite color combination when it comes to creating art or crafts, whatever? When it comes to creating, what are the colors that you reach for the most? You have until Sunday, September 29th, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time to enter your answer in the comments. Of course, if you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, the links will be below. This, uh, These are two good platforms for me to be able to communicate with you uh, quick, quicker. I'm thinking of using those more and more. So if, let's say, I'm working on something really quickly, then I can just take a photo and send it to you and maybe ask for feedback. Uh, like I said, the links will be below. There are a few creative things that I did recently that I would like to share with you. More importantly, I posted this past week on my blog um, a double page that I did for a tutorial for Scrapbook Central and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So if you want to go check that out, I'll post a link below as well. Um, and I will end on this note. There are a few creative things that I'd like to share with you and hopefully I'll have time to do so in the next or in the weeks to come but again I can't promise anything um, my, between work and appointments and real estate visits and all that um, there's just not a heck of a lot of time so thanks for sticking around <laughs> and I guess I will see, see you later Bye.